Hey crypto bros and sisters, welcome back to the channel. Please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. You know I try to keep you guys laced up on all the crypto news. Man, I have a crazy story for you guys about a crypto big shot who is being sued by his wife for some freaky behavior. Let's jump right into it. According to the New York Times, Max Hartman is allegedly being sued by his wife for sexual abuse over the years, guys. This cycle would punish his wife if she didn't have sex with him on demand, according to court filings. This weirdo would have his wife named as SS in court documents shave his private parts frequently, guys. He would then bend over and ask her to take pictures of her work to examine how good she did. If that's not weird enough, he wouldn't allow his wife to eat food that he bought. Let me pull up some text messages that his wife presented for litigation against her husband. This just gets weird. Here are the texts, guys. In gray is Hartman's. While you are attending to continue not setting aside time for me, you may not eat my food. I will permit you to eat one of my bananas today as a gesture of my good faith, but definitely no ice cream. And then his wife replies in green, I can't tell if you are being serious or joking to try to lighten the mood. Not joking, although I know my feelings are a joke to you. Max, reread what you wrote and see how petty that sounds. In the wake of knowing each other for more than a decade, especially given that I offered and then it cuts out there. But this guy, he sounds like a child. Hartman's wife also alleges that he forced her to have sex on three occasions against her will, including one attack which left her bleeding, guys. According to court papers, Hartman would also set up hidden cameras. His wife actually found some of his secret sex videos, including a clip in which one woman could be heard negotiating a 10,000 payment for penetration. If you're wondering how this man had this kind of money to throw around, guys, his wife claims that Hartman co-owns CardCoins, an online service that lets users trade prepaid gift cards for Bitcoin and is co-organizer of BitDevs, a cryptocurrency social network with more than 5,000 members in New York City alone. Hartman has had multiple run-ins with the law, guys. In November 2018, incident on an Amtrak in Chicago in which authorities found $884,000 in cash in his luggage and in March of 2019 while trying to board a private jet, federal court's papers show. In 2019 incident, Hartman was found to have over 409,000 in a black duffel bag that was pre-packaged in a manner consistent with narcotics proceeds, they said in court records. However, each time he was let go and most of his money was returned to him, they must have not had enough evidence to hold him, guys. When Hartman's wife finally broke things off, guys, he continued to send these weird old text messages. I'm going to go ahead and read them for you. Okay, I doubt with the pea pot babe, but I don't think you should have any of the Dr. Pepper, muscle milk, or chicken nuggets until you work things out. What do you mean? You are being so petty about this. I really cannot believe it. I will put $20 on the table. No, I think you should go to Fairway if you need stuff, or you can just stop being mean. Max, $20 more than pays for what I would eat today. Please go to Fairway. You are going to continue being mean. How am I being mean? If you want to share in my bounty, you need to be nice to me. This dude is just straight crazy, guys. In a statement, Hartman denied working for CardCoins, claimed he and his wife, SS, were never married and that he was never violent. And remember those hidden cameras, guys? He said that they were there to monitor his cats. This boy is straight capping. Here's what his wife had to say about all the abuse she suffered over the years. Bit by bit, he made me feel very small and worthless, SS, now 32, told the Post. It was awful. As it was happening, I felt in my gut that something wasn't right. But every time I tried to stand up for myself, he would twist my words and make me out to be the one who was wrong. It sounds ridiculous, but you could get put down enough and get told that you're wrong enough, you start to believe it. If this is all true, guys, this man definitely belongs in prison. The do seem way off from all those text messages I pulled up for you guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this freaky crypto story. If you did, you know what to do to help your crypto bro out against these YouTube algorithms. Until next time.